Links to socials such as Odyssey, Mastodon, Twitter, and Instagram will be in the description below, so you can go check those out. Let's get into the video. So, we'll be creating a enemy turret in Godot. We will be building off the knowledge we made in the smooth enemy aiming video. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. So, using that knowledge, we'll make a turret AI. So, I have some nodes set up here. We have a spatial node called turret base pivot. And then we have a mesh of that called turret. And then a spatial node, a child of that mesh. And it's a spatial node called turret gun pivot. And then we have a child of that one called, and it's a mesh called turret gun. And then we have a ray cast node as a child of that mesh. We also have another node called player pause. And this is a position 3D node. And we also have shoot timer. I almost forgot these vision casts. You do need the spatial node that holds all these vision casts. And then you can just have a bunch of rotated ray casts. Now this isn't the most performant method. But computers these days are so good that it doesn't really matter. And then you can create a script on these ray casts. And you can just call this enemy vision cast. And then it extends ray cast. And you want to have one variable called signal. And call it visible. And then in the process function we can say if is colliding is equal to true and get collider dot is in group player and then we just want to emit the visible signal and then in our turret code we need multiple variables we need an accuracy that's a float a damage which is also a float our player pause 3d node a turret base pivot node a turret gun pivot and the player the player isn't actually required but no it's not and then you can just say var has seen player and var can shoot both of these will be bulls, so I should probably actually statically type that just to not confuse Godot. And then in our ready function, we want to get every single child of this vision casts node and iterate over it and then connect the visible signal to ourself and then scene player. So this function down here, scene player, this is what will be receiving this. This is a lot faster than connecting each signal by hand. And then this scene player function just sets this one variable has seen player to true. And then we can go into our process function if has seen player. And then we can say our player position 3D dot translation is equal to lerp player position 3D dot translation to the player dot translation. I actually have my own code here that gets the player translation. And then for our speed, we just we just do delta times accuracy. And then we want to do turret base pivot dot look at. So this node right here, we want to tell it to look at that position 3D. And then we want to say turret gun pivot dot look at. And then that position 3D again. Both have vector 3 dot up as the up. And then for our turret base pivot dot rotation degrees dot x, we just clamp that uh, to turret base pivot dot rotation degrees dot x and the range from zero to zero. That prevents it from moving on the x-axis, which makes it have this weird behavior like this. And then we do the same thing for z, preventing it from doing this. And then for our turret gun pivot dot rotation degrees dot z, we just clamp that to a range of 0 and 0. So it prevents it from rotating like this. And there's also some other stuff that prevents it from going crazy. And then if it can shoot, we want to call the shoot function and then shoot timer dot start. And the shoot function just gets a shoot cast collider node. And we haven't actually set this, but we will. And if the shoot cast dot is colliding, I'm not going to say this entire path. Uh, and then we just set our shoot cast collider to our shoot cast dot get collider. And then if shoot cast collider dot is in group player, we want to say shoot cast collider dot take damage. And then we pass in our damage variable. And then we can just say can shoot is equal to false. And then in this shoot time or timeout function, we can just say can shoot to true. So that should work if you followed correctly. So if I go back into my game here, we can see that looks at the player, the raycast works. And I can actually see it, but it is hurting the player whenever the raycast is looking at it. So if you found this tutorial useful, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. You can also follow me on my socials if you really want to. And this video is also on Odyssey if you want to check it out there. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. That's all from me for now. Fun Huber, out.